So I'm going to pick up mom and I am hoping that the wind doesn't blow my little fake bun off my head. So mom, we're gonna go shopping. Oh, I like to spend money. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna Whoa. buy me? Oh, I buy you quite a bit. I have to think of, that's gonna be a surprise. Come on, I'm not gonna tell you. But we're going shopping together. How can it be a surprise? Well, I have my way of getting around. So, oh, your hair looks beautiful. Like, oh, it's getting long. You like that little bun? Yeah, has to be the best row, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I paid 20 bucks for that little mm -hmm. bun. You did? Yeah. Wow. I think it looks pretty cute. You have money to spend. I That's do. not bad. Yeah, you want to buy me another one? Mm, sure. I'll buy you more than one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so bye. We're, we're off Doodle. to go to Sam's Club I'm and... Um, She's going to show me the the, the German Neve, but it's not so much seeing it in print, it's like pronouncing it because I pronounce it wrong all the time. So yeah, so it's Sunday and this is, um, I almost said Easter week, oh my gosh, this is Thanksgiving week. And because I'm going out with mom, I don't have, um, I don't have my eyes, I don't have a lot of eyeshadow on at all, so I'm kind of plain looking. Maybe, just the way I... Yeah, but wie sagst du das in Deutsch? Nivea, okay. Nivea. Yeah, Nivea. That's a yeah, Nivea. Nivea. Okay, you're gonna be in my vlog next week, you know. You must be kidding me. I'm not. Say hello oh, to everybody. Morning. Hello, everybody. Hey, that's my Have mom. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Toodaloo. <laughs> Toodaloo. They won't see this till after Thanksgiving, but that's okay. <laughs> Toodaloo. So you just sprayed this perfume, and you love this perfume. This is, yeah, it's a Lancome, by Lancome. It's very good. And that's the one that you and, always get all those compliments on? Yeah, and that lotion there, too. The lotion is a good lotion. Nice. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they have a different name. And the other name, I tried out the other name, and um, I didn't like it. Ah. This is the best, that name here. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go shopping. Yeah, let's go. Guys, it's Monday, and um, I had I had a great weekend. What can I say? But this is Thanksgiving week, so it's going to be really crazy. I'm going to the hairdressers tonight, so I don't know what my hair is going to look like. But um, I don't know. I'm going to tell her not to cut it so much because I really want to let it grow out a little bit because I'm really liking it when I can you know, wear the bunny thing on top of my head. So I'm getting ready to teach a class. I'm working all day and then hairdressers tonight. I don't know when I'm gonna get home, but thankfully Thanksgiving is at my sister's house, so I don't have to worry about prepping because my house is a disaster, as it always is. Bye guys. I did go to the hairdresser. She didn't cut it, but she did touch up my roots, which I really like. And so, we agree that we're going to let it grow a little bit longer so I can get it up easier on top of my head when I wear the buns. And um, she couldn't believe the color match. Oh, hold on. Let me get it. She couldn't believe the color match of the one that I bought. She said, wow, what a great match. So that's my goal. I'm going to grow it. Maybe, maybe if I can get down to more of a shoulder length. I'll keep it somewhat layered around the front right now because I really need I really need the height. The height is going to be super important for me. So the other thing is that um, I don't I don't know how many of you have watched Marla Robinson's video where she did a sort of a demonstration of some clothes that she got from a company called Tag Under. So uh, Mala demoed, and she's got the perfect setup. She could walk and show you what she looked like in these outfits and these tops that she selected and jackets from this from their website. And I thought, wow, they really look beautiful. And lo and behold, I had recently also got an email from the exact same company and asked me if I wanted to take a look at their clothing line and select maybe three pieces that I might want to demo and talk about on my YouTube channel. So I thought that was a pretty cool opportunity. Now Mala, I'm going to link her channel below, but Mala is slender. She's absolutely beautiful. And I think she could probably pull off any look where me... You know, I'm completely different. I'm definitely more than a handful type of a gal. And I have I'm big bones. I have a lot of excess flesh. So for me, a lot of things aren't going to look as good. But I gravitate towards oversized tops, towards long tops, maybe leggings or pants, a tunic look. Especially in the wintertime, I like to have my boots and stuff like that. 
So they reached out to me and they said, you know, no obligation, pick three garments. They were really, you know, a small company starting out and all of their clothing is made in California and they sell direct and I'm going to link their website and everything they make is manufactured, as I said, in their warehouse in Los Angeles. I was pleasantly surprised when I went on their website and I was able to pick some tops and I'm like they had a lot of tunic styles that I really like for example this top that I'm wearing I'm going to insert these pictures of me wearing it outside and I've also worn it in my video I love how this top flows it's long enough that I can pull it off with leggings a pair of high boots I didn't have high boots in the pictures but a pair of high boots is absolutely perfect and then I did order a blue one the blue one is also a long tunic style and I really of course you know I like blue Blue is a good color for me. And so I really like this. It's long enough to cover all your sins. So with a nice pair of leggings, it's going to be perfect. It's almost like a dress style. And then the last one that I ordered was a cold shoulder black one. You also saw that in a video. The cold shoulder black one, what a beautiful flow. All The material is really, really nice. Rayon, spandex. Uh, and the thing is, I contacted the the person that emailed me and I said, you know, I, I have three tops that I would definitely love to pick, but I'm curious about the sizing. Is it true to size? Because my experience is, especially when I've bought clothing off the internet and overseas, etc., is that their lodge is like small. <laughs> it's just like way too small for me. So he said to me, no, no, this is true to size. And I didn't really believe it. So I ended up ordering an extra large and and I have plenty of room, plenty of room, as you can see in these photos. So I'm going to link their website below. They did offer a coupon code. I am not making a penny off of anything that you order. If you want to take advantage of it, go right ahead. If you are slender, check out Mala's video if you haven't already because she can really pull the look off great. And I don't have the setup. Like I don't have a hallway where I can demo. So for me, I'm going outside with the outfits. But I was impressed. I really, really liked it. The only thing I wish that I'd done instead of the three tops is I wish I had probably um, ordered one of their leggings because they have some really cool leggings. But and maybe even other colorful tops. These colorful tunics I love them and I've worn this in my video and a lot of people commented on it and I have plenty of room. You know, this is probably something I could have gotten away with, maybe a smaller size, but it's been a real hectic morning, but we got everything done that we needed to get done. The salads made, the pies, well, I didn't make the pies, I bought the pies, but the pies are all packed and ready to go and we're going to head out to pick up my mom and dad and then we're all going to go up to my sister Heidi's house where most of the family are going to be gathering for Thanksgiving. I try to do some video clips and add them in, but before I do that, I wanted to show you my eyelashes. I don't know. I'll try to zoom in. I can't quite... I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but I'll try to zoom in. So my eyelashes, I had applied to the Octoly website. So with Octoly, I thought that was really cool because you could select, if you got approved, the product you were interested in reviewing. And I, I wouldn't want to review something I have absolutely no interest in. So I was really fascinated when I got approved. And I, and I know that once you got approved, you still had to get approved by the brand. But I was really hoping I could try the Grandy Lash Eyelash Serum that Kristen321 had done on her channel. And I thought her eyelashes, the growth was tremendous. So I was w wanting to really try that once my care post ended. But when I got on there, I didn't see that. But I did see their mascara. And I'm sure many of you have already seen this. But I saw their mascara and I said, ooh, I love the ingredients. And I thought I would really love to try this Grandy Mascara. The one I have is in black and it's their Lash Boosting Formula. So I submitted an application to see if they would approve me. And they did. And they sent it. So this was sent to me free of charge for my honest review. And... Um, I've worn it. This is going to be the third time I've worn it. Now, the first two times I wore it this week, I wore it with my eyelash primer, which I always use the L'Oreal eyelash primer. I wore it with that, and I wore it all day. I did not have any kind of a fallout. It held up really, really, really good. Today, I don't have the primer on. I just have the eyelash mascara on. So the one thing I noticed is that 
this is giving me a super super curl so if you have straight lashes and I think I do but if you have straight lashes and you want to curl your lashes I'm not using an eyelash curler I never do and um, even without an eyelash primer this has really given me I think I don't know if you can see you probably see my smudgy eyeshadow, but this has really given my eyelashes a lovely, lovely curl. So today, no primer. I'm going to be out and about, up with family, you know, cooking in a hut kitchen. Well, helping to prep. Um, cooking, that's a joke. I'm not going to cook, but you know what I mean. Futzing around in the kitchen and just having a fun time. So I want to see how this holds out all day without any primer on it eyelash primer and um, I was really I was really thrilled the opportunity to check this out to review it and let you know guys know how I feel about it so yeah thank you Grandy Lash hey everybody how you doing happy Thanksgiving <laughs> happy Thanksgiving we are off on a family M adventure M and J adventure <laughs> an M and J family adventure hey it's 39 degrees out sunny yeah, 39. Ugh, cold. So we're it's on the road rain. and it's 11.59 so we're going to be down my mom and dad's home probably in about 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and then heading up to my sister's. Five Ciao. Minutes. Not even 5 minutes. Not even 5 minutes? I think I need a neck lift. <coughs> Ooh, it's so tight. I guess he didn't like that. So how do you say Happy Thanksgiving in German, Mom? Empty Dankfest. Wie sagst du das? Empty Dankfest. Empty Dankfest. Danke, danke. Now, so did you actually have Thanksgiving in Germany? We have, yeah. we have it earlier. Oh, wow. Not yeah. so late in the year. I think when we have it. So the pilgrims went to Germany too, yeah. huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody, I, I was watching somebody on, um, you know, the little little kid Japan and she yeah. was saying that in Japanese they have labor thank day thankful day oh, so that's how they call it yeah oh, yeah happy labor thank yeah. Thanksgiving labor, yeah for the laborers so yeah. Yeah. The, the, the German have it the right way and that's yeah. how dad and dunk fest dunk fest yeah and see and means harvesting ah yeah. so it's it's and thankful for the harvest yeah yeah nice Nice. <laughs> this is my little microphone. That's why I'm holding it out so I can oh. get you. So, th so what is the tradition in Germany on Dunkfest? Mm. They usually have eine Ente. Uh, a duck. A duck? A duck, duck goose? A duck, uh, duck? Or, yeah, yeah. I, I, a duck or a goose? Uh, or a goose, that's right. I don't remember the uh, turkeys no. in Germany. Huh. Mm. But you did the same thing as here, everybody gets together and they all... You know what, it's not that celebrated. Oh, but to that time, it might be more now, but to that time it was very down key. Low not, key. Not much. Ah. Yeah. Well, so we're off to Heidi's house and um, we'll see who's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Video. Oh, yeah. And so your hat, oh, let me take a... Oh, look at that. It's oh, wow. very infused. <laughs> I think we're all going to be uh, a little tipsy if we have that. Yeah, it's pretty strong. So, Oma and Opa were saying Happy Thanksgiving in German. Do it again. What was that? Ein fröhliches an Erntedankfest. Yeah, you can say it that way too. How do you say it? Erntedankfest. Yeah. Oder happy, ja, fröhliches. Oh, fröhliches. Yeah. So, sister. Oh. I have a, I have a, you're like, geez, are you singing to me? I am. I don't know what it is. Can you hear what I just said? Say great. Oh. Yes. She wants to know why it's not that she can. <laughs> so Gus, of course, was the star of the show, but we just had a really wonderful time with some of our family members. We have family members in Florida, and my son, his wife, and my granddaughter and grandson couldn't make it because they were going to her folks. So there's always people missing, but 
take a look at all the faces, the smiling faces, the happy faces. We just had a great, great Thanksgiving. And I love this picture of my mom, my sister, and me. Love it. And us girls. And of course, there is Gus. So I almost forgot to do my check-in. It has been a long, fun-filled day. And um, I really... I really think my mascara held up really well. I'm really surprised at how well it held up. I'm not too sure if this is even showing, but I, um, you know, I haven't done any any touch-ups at all. Um, and I, I, when I, I was just going to go in the bathroom because we just came home, and I was just going to take all my makeup off when I remembered. Wow, I haven't done this, so I just wanted to show you what it looked like. No touch-ups, no primer, at all. I think it held up really super well. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Hey guys, can you believe it? Black Friday is almost over. So what have you bought on Black Friday? I will tell you truthfully, I did not buy anything, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I I spent uh, a lot of money this week. I did a big order at Timeless Skincare. They had their 50% off sale. That to me is a fantastic sale. So I stocked up on a number of items. I also, during the Sephora sale, I bought a couple of things at Sephora. Of course, it's on back order, but still I bought it and um, so other than that Black Friday did not call my name whatsoever now Cyber Monday that's scary but I will tell you that when we came home yesterday after spending Thanksgiving up at my sister's it was really late I was really tired but I was on my iPad in bed and I was cruising a couple of websites and I was tempted but I didn't pull the trigger. I did not pull the trigger. And today, Friday, I spent my day doing busy work, trying to get caught up on things, trying to clean up things that, you know, I've neglected. I still have to empty out the motorhome. I haven't finished that project. Almost done, but not quite. So maybe that'll be on my agenda for tomorrow. So I just, I'm going to wrap up the vlog. I know it's been really long, almost, I think almost 20 minutes. And, um, and I hate doing long ones, but I guess this is my whole week that I'm sharing with you. So it's going to be a little longer than five or six minutes. I just want to say thank you all so much for all your amazing support. And for every time you watch a video, you like a video, you share a video, you comment, I appreciate it very, very much. Please be sure if you have not subscribed to subscribe to the channel. It always amazes me what my ratios are of the people that watch the videos that are not subscribed compared to the ones that are, and it is pretty low. So please subscribe, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you all had a great week. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Please press our buttons. We would truly appreciate it.